Hey, you know what's funny? The fact that, you know, I'm that, I'm that, I'm that fool that gets a camera and all of a sudden he think he a vlogger and shit. For me, that's me. For me, that's me. But fuck it, you feel me? I like, I like the camera. I like talking to y'all. Feel me? So, I'm gonna keep doing this, you feel me? We gonna see what's up, we gonna see what's gonna happen, we gonna see what's cracking. Damn, this shit look crispy as fuck. Damn. I look good. What's up, my good people? Man, I look good in this camera, man. You feel me? I look good. I'm gonna need that collab with my boy Face Rug, you feel me? Shit. Nah, but what's up, my good people? We back and shit. You know, I just came out of jail for some bullshit, you know? But we back on the grind and shit. Like, you could tell, I got a camera now. You know, everything gonna look crispy. You know, I look like a real-ass fucking YouTuber and shit. You feel me? But don't, don't trip. You know, we back on the grind. I'm about to post more cuts. I'm about to be out here in the field with the homies doing stupid shit. You feel me? So just keep it posted. You feel me? Lab the one. Subscribe to my channel. About to post all types of cool shit. All types of dope shit. You feel me? I ain't like these other fucking YouTubers. You feel me? Nah, man. We gonna do some real gangsta shit. Real gangsta shit. Real cuts. You feel me? Just a bunch of homies getting fucked up. All that shit. All that shit. You feel me? Subscribe. You trying to see some real, some real food shit? Subscribe to this channel, man. Man. Thank you to all my supporters. How the fuck I stop this shit? So what's up my good people? You feel me? I didn't have no I don't know what a recording shit, you feel me, but I thought I was gonna film uh what I put in my barber case and shit, you know, fuck you, you feel me? I gotta post more barber shit, you know, and I feel like that's, you know, that's a good video to start, you feel me? So I'm about to show y'all what I keep in my barber shit, you feel me? I'm, running, I'm in my garage right now and shit. You know, this is usually what I be doing on my cuts and shit. When I'm not at school and shit, you know, I got my chair and shit, I got my ring light and shit, where all the homies pull up, you know, this is where I be getting fucked up and shit. You feel me? Everything look dirty and shit right now, so I'm about to clean and shit, you feel me? I'm fucking, fucking tired of all that dancing. Oh, But yeah, I'm about to show y'all right now, you feel me? So let me just clean up, and I'm about to show y'all. Alright y'all, so I'm about to show y'all what I have in my barbie case on a daily. So first and foremost, first and foremost, I got my cape, I got my apron right here, my Spongebob apron, the kids love it. Everybody really, everybody fuck with this, you feel me? Shout out to my boy Daniel at my school for blessing me with this. It's just dope as fuck. You know, next, you know, we got the, you know, we got the normal stuff, you know. Cool care, you feel me? Make sure this, make sure your barber spray this on his clear before he give you a haircut. Mandatory. Then I got the... And uh, I got the elegant shaving gel, man. I love this. It's probably the best shaving gel I've ever got. This is good. Then I got the I got the aftershave, man. I don't really like this. I personally don't recommend this. It's like some gooey type substance. I don't, I don't really like it. You feel me? Uh, I say you guys go with a with a spray instead. Then I got the talk baby powder, whatever you want to call it. Got my got my cards for the fast speeds. You feel me? I got my got my razors right here. I got my wall. Got my wall. Right here, I got my uh, got my gloves right here. I got some side. I don't really fuck with this, you feel me? But it's all they had, you know. I need the gloves, you know. Just the regular, you know, just the regular stuff you gonna need, you feel me? And now I'm about to show y'all the money makers. So you really only need three things. You're gonna need your shaver, your liners, and your trimmers. If you're barely starting up, I recommend the Andy's box shaver. You know, I started off with these. I love these so much, but recently, you know, they, they don't turn on to me no more, so I thought it was time to upgrade. So I recently just picked up the Babyliss Pro foil shaver. I love this. I love just how it looks. I love the gold on it. it just looks so sexy to me, so I had to upgrade. Just, but yeah, I recommend this one if you're starting up as a new barber. A lot of, a lot of pro barbers still use this one. You know, I just... Decided it was time to get a new new shaver. I want to try to get any liners. I recommend if if this is your first liner, I recommend I recommend these, the Annie T outliner. These are skeleton. You feel me? They, but they don't come like this. Man, these are hitters. But for some, I don't really use these no more because I don't know if it's the guy that did my that you know sharpened my stuff or fixed my clipper, man. But he fucked these up. They start pulling hair, man. Like I don't know, man. My I don't really use them on my clients no more, I don't trust these no more, so I had to kind of bench these. So I, and then I, I use, these are my go-tos now, my Andy Slimline Pro, Pro Ally, I love you so much, man. I use these to, to take out bulk, 
to you know hit up lineups, man. These you know these are these are the best to me. I love I love the way they fit in my hand, man. Just, they're just such such a good such a good line. I recommend these if it's your first time. If it's your first time, you know trying to cut hair, I recommend these. You got your trimmers. I got the magic clips. I love you so much, man. You know they're wireless. You know I, you know I haven't done none to the I haven't zero gap. You know sharpened none of these. You know these are my go tos. I love these so much. You know when I do house calls, you know. Or, you know, just cut people anywhere. I love these so much. I got the I got the wall seniors right here, man. Same with these. All I've done with these was just zero gap them, man. They've been good, yeah, fresh out the box. Season. You know, Crazy. man. These you no know, wall. They wall. They good. I recommend these to anybody that's barely starting off, man. These these. If I if I needed if I had a machine to pick, which one to use? If you're a beginner, these, man. These. Trust me. I got the fast feed as well. Man, I don't really use these no more, but I love these, man. I started off with these, so they got a special place in my heart. So, you know, I'm, you know, I, I kind of have to bench them. You know, they have a slow motor. You know, so I don't really use these no more, but I love these so much, too. I recommend these, too, you know, if you're a beginner, too, because they got a slower motor. You know, they pull less hair. You know, but overall, that's all you really need. But yeah, my people, that's all you really need. You feel me? All you need is three. You know, three clippers, that's all you really need, you feel me? Don't fall into the hype that like, you need all these expensive clippers, you feel me? If you a new barber, don't don't worry, you feel me? You know, once you become better, once you get your client, that's when you start buying all the expensive clippers. Don't fall into the whole gimmick that you need all these expensive clippers to get good, you feel me? Because that's how I used to be, you know, I thought if I didn't have these expensive clippers, you feel me? I, I'm not gonna be able to cut hair now, nah, man. You know, my barber's always telling me, you feel me? If you know how to cut hair, you can cut hair with anything. Man, that's facts. And anybody that tells you otherwise is, you know, is straight talking bullshit, you feel me? My boy Juanito at Gabriel's Barbershop, man, on Hazard Adams, been cutting my hair for years, man. He don't got the expensive, he, he don't got the most expensive clippers, man, but he, he the cleanest in the whole shop, man. And there's guys in there that got the most expensive clippers, the baby list, you know, all the name brands and shit, and they still be fucking me up, you feel me? They still be putting my hairline all the way up here, bro, you feel me? So you don't, if you're a new barber, you know, don't trip on getting all the new expensive shit, you don't need all that right now, you feel me? Just focus on getting that crap good, and that's all you really need, you feel me? Just, just keep going at it, just keep going at it, you feel me? And that's it. Just, you know, just keep grinding, keep grinding, you feel me? At first, your cuts gonna be whack, you feel me? But, you know, they gonna get better as it is, you feel me? I, I, I ain't no good barber, you feel me? I'm a, be I'm a beginner too, you feel me? But, you feel me? I, I'm trying to, you know, lay down some knowledge for y'all. You know, that, y'all, maybe y'all that, that barely starting, you feel me? That's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to put some knowledge down, you feel me? From, for the young people watching this, that, you know, they barely trying to start cutting hair, you feel me? I'm a beginner too, like I said, I'm a beginner too, you feel me? So, we both gonna learn, you feel me? I'm just trying to give some knowledge that I was told, you feel me? Just keep going, you feel me? Don't worry, shit will come. Just your clients will come, everything will come, the money gonna come. Just, just focus on getting your craft right, and that's all you need. What's up, my good people? I'm with my sister right now. She don't wanna, she don't wanna, she don't wanna be seen. You feel me? So we're not gonna put her. But we about to go to, we about to go to Starbucks right now and shit. And then we about to go, I'm about to go see if I can buy these clippers. I'm gonna see if they gonna let me buy these clippers at Cosmo Prof. And I'm probably gonna hit the bank, and then we gonna see what's up from there. I, I didn't think I was gonna vlog today, but. You know what, well, fuck it, you know? I'm excited because I got my new camera. I feel like a YouTuber. Look at that. Crispy, crispy. You see it, you see You see the red seats? The red seats? But yeah, I'm going to talk to you in a bit. So what's up? We just got some Starbucks. I got this strawberry acai. I don't know. I don't really drink Starbucks, you know, but when I come here, I do. And then we, we got some food. So we about to eat that real quick, and then we about to head to the bank, and we gonna see if I can get these clippers. So what's up, my people? We just left Cosmo Prof, and man, look what I got. I got it, I got it. Let me show y'all. I got the Babyless Pro foil shavers. You know, I had to do it, you know? 110 bucks, you know, kind of pricey, but you know, fuck it, you know? My sh I had the Andes, uh, the, you know, the normal Andy shaver, but you know, it was it already started giving me problems, you know. So I was like, you know what, fuck it, you know, I'm just gonna drop a hundred on this and get a new one, you know. And if you for you guys that know you barbers out there, you guys know that they make these in, in you know the two colors, you know the the chrome and the gold. You know, I personally don't like the chrome. You know, I feel like it just looks cheaper, and like I think they're like the same price. So I mean, the gold man, it just it just hits different, bro. It just hits different. It just looks it looks better to me. And like I got lucky too, cause we went. And this was the last one on the shelf, so I got lucky too, you know. It's kind, it kind of looks kind of beat up, you know. But you know, but fucking, you know, as long as it works, that's all that matters. But yeah, now we go over here at Dollar Tree. This is Dollar Tree, yeah, Dollar Tree. Right here, we about to go see what's up right there. And then, yeah, we about to go see what's up, you know. 
we're gonna go see man i don't know what my sister wants to buy but we're gonna go i'm gonna just bring y'all with us we we'll go see what's up well, i think that thing turned off on me but i had to start filming again my sister's like i think there's a lot of people man, i don't care i'll be vlogging never scared what are they gonna say Yeah, you good, you good, you good, I got you. Oh, you found candy? So we looking at candy right now. Just trying to see what you're gonna get. Oh yeah, the sour patches are good. What about the lifesavers? No, she don't like the lifesavers. Mm -hmm. I want chocolate, but there's no chocolate. Oh, there's this one. Maybe Skittles. Yeah, get the Skittles. Get the Skittles. The the lemon ones too. I mean, not the lemon ones. Uh, the sour ones. Those are the good ones. I think we're good. Yeah, I got dark in here real quick. The butterfinger, yeah, those look good too. It's funny because this guy looked at me like if I was his poppy. Haha. <laughs> They got a lot of good candy right here. Fuck, hopefully I'm coming to Daughter Tree for all my stuff. Is she open or what? Oh, you know, we gonna walk around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to y'all in a bit. So, so, so we at the Cribbo now. You know, I'm about to just edit this vlog and shit. You know, thank you to everybody just be looking at. I saw the vlog and shit. You know, I'm about to edit this, about to post this, you know. No, uh, was, you know, pretty boring day for me. Yo, not Martin Luther King Day, you know, we just, you know, just, just ran some errands and shit, you know. You know, I'm gonna have some more funner vlogs soon, coming soon, you feel me? They still, got, they still got me held down, you feel me? I got a curfew and all that because of court, so I can't really be out like that right now. But we're gonna have them better vlogs coming soon. So subscribe, you know. Y'all gonna see me soon.